so let's start uh, already we are late nine minutes uh, now 10 minutes it will be uh, so let's start and uh, first uh, today we are uh, you know will be done uh, several kind of uh, interfacing today and uh, first of all we will be start with a you know interesting thing that is the adc starting with the adc and uh, then i think will be coming on later uh, seven segments stepper motor and lastly lcd so first we are starting with a uh, you know adc now adc is everyone is known every adc is just like a you can uh, you can you can told that adc is just like a bridge between analog world to the real world you know analog world and the digital world this is just like a bridge means make a relations with the analog world and the digital world you know every sensors uh, whatever we have all the given the output as an analog signal but microcontroller and the microprocessor whatever we have all are working with the digital data so communicate with you know uh, a sensor communicate with uh, anything with the real world it is always nothing but a, if, if, if you are connecting with a, a sensor or something like that then before that we should be connected a adc because adc is nothing but a which is convert the analog signal into the digital uh, digital form and corresponding you know microcontroller or microprocessor whatever we have it will be understood whatever the value so next, um, uh, we are coming into the ADC. Before I'm coming to the ADC, there are several kind of ADC available in the market. Maybe eight bit. Maybe you, you just see. Maybe eight bit. Uh, maybe eight bit, ten bit, twelve bit, sixteen bit, twenty four bit, etc. Now today we will be done a eight bit eight channel ADC interfacing. How it will be done? How the you know uh, software program will be required and what are the programs is required that will be discussed today. So first, uh, you know how ADC will be. Uh, you know uh, doing the functions and all that will be discussed edc is a very important thing uh, you know very important roles to take the you know uh, connecting with the sensor and microcontroller etc so if you want to measure the temperature if you want to measure the any kind of activities that should be connecting with the adc without adc is not possible at all so just if we are going into the uh, you know uh, then these are the uh, purpose of ADC, whatever you remember, know, you know everything. So these are the, uh, you know, uh, 0808 is a multi analog channel in, uh, you know, ADC. It, it is a eight, eight channel ADC. So uh, we are talking about this is a eight channel ADC. Eight channel in ADC is nothing but a just C, IN0 to IN7. These are the analog channel. These are the analog channel, eight analog channel, IN0 to IN7. These eight is uh, IN0 to IN7 will be selected by address ABC. When is CBA would, with the help of CBA, you can select any analog channel like IN0, IN1, IN2, or IN7. Anything you can select that is means you know, with the help of uh, CBA, you are selecting the IN0 to IN7. Just like if I'm going in with a table, so this is nothing but a table. If CBA both are 0, 0, 0, then IN0, if both are 1, 1, 1, then it is IN7. So in this way, we are selecting the IN0 to IN7. It's a very important, you know, um, any analog channel we can select. Eight sensor can be connected, you know, with a different, different analog channel. I can select one by one, no issue, or I can select only one, no issues for that next i will be talking about the uh, next i will be talking about the you just you just see um, uh, two to the uh, two to the power minus one that is msb and two to the power you just see two to the power minus eight will be there uh, uh, two to the power uh, minus eight that is lsb so two to the power minus one two to the power minus two two to the power minus three as so on two to the power minus eight those are the nothing but a, a output of the adc output of the adc means it is a digital data 
So you are given the analog signal, it will be converted into the digital uh, form. We are all of, uh, know about it. So uh, how it will be converted, how it will be converted, you know, uh, then uh, how how it will be converted that will be discussed today so next just see uh, you know uh, if i am talking about the start of conversion end of conversion and output uh, output enable the an ale signal i will be discuss those kind of uh, these four signals in the later on rest all other signals uh, means uh, you know uh, just ground connected with the ground vcc connected with plus 5 volt and v reference plus and v reference minus this two is a very important pin from where to where you want to convert the data you know uh, from analog to digital form say if you want to convert this data from 0 to 5 so you are given 0 and 5 so v reference plus and v reference minus is used just like a range and what are the signals of ALE and what are the signals, you know, um, I just I will be um, explain what are the signal, what are the functions of ALE, what are the functions of, uh, you know, uh, SOC, uh, what are the functions of, uh, you know, EOC and what are the functions of output enable. ALE full form is address latch enable. ALE full form is address latch enable just see my copy just see my copy sir uh, you know i will be explained one by one this is uh, four is a very important for write a program ale signal uh, soc signal and uh, eoc signal and uh, output enable first is ale signal ale signal before the ins before you know whenever we start it will be zero then it will be high and then it will be low so first it is zero it is a ale signal if I'm talking about this is the ALE signal, in ALE signal, first it is zero, then it is high, and then after that it will be zero. So it is a ALE signal, address latch enable, whatever the analog signal, uh, analog channel you are selecting, it will be, you know, it, ha it, it has an internal buffer register. In corresponding, after given the, you know, after given ALE signal, this analog channel will be selected. And if I'm given the SOC signal as well, if I'm given the SOC signal as well, then what will be happen, you know, after the, the SOC signal corresponding analog, corresponding, you know, corresponding in, in that particular time interval, after given the SOC signal, corresponding time interval, what are the value, you know, in the analog um, uh, channel that will be stored into the internal buffer register so soc just like a same of ale just like a same of ale this is nothing but a soc signal full form before that is zero that is one then that is zero as you know there there may be a time gap between these two because you know uh, my microcontroller working with a uh, my, you know, microcontroller working with a microsecond, but uh, ADC may not be w working with the same speed. So there is a maybe a time delay you can give. And uh, SOC signal, ALE signal given after that means it after SOC signal is nothing but a start of conversion. So you given a signal to, you know, uh, ADC that ADC will be start to convert the you know analog um, analog signal into its digital form whenever its conversion is uh, you know over whenever the conversion is over then you will be get then you will be get just like a eoc signal like that So just like a EOC signal like that. So this is nothing but a EOC signal. So it, it will be one first. It will be one first. Then it will be zero. Then it will be one. So uh, you know EOC signal is nothing but a given by the ADC to the microcontroller. EOC signal is given by the uh, you know uh, given by the uh, ADC to the microcontroller. What are, what is the significant of that? Significant is nothing but a with the help of EOC signal, uh, you know, micro micro uh, ADC will be given a message that my conversion is over. You can get the data. You can get the data. Means conversion after completions of conversion, then you you will be get the EOC signal. But sir, how we are checking this kind of EOC signal? So as as this signal is nothing but a for uh, microcontroller it will be as an input signal it will be as a input signal so uh, you know uh, for input any pins or any port 
whenever we are using as an input port what will be the you know the uh, our um, uh, motto that in the initial level we are given a high signal on that particular pin you initially we are given a high signal on that particular pin next it will be you know it will be zero then that will be one so in this way it can be possible in this way it can be possible very good sir so how we are checking this eoc signal it's a very 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 important thing how we will be checking this eoc signal so first we will be check this nothing but a high time how we are checking this high time how we are checking the high time just like a you know with the help of the instructions like jb like jb eoc say i am connecting with a eoc with any other pins but i don't know which pin i am connecting so just i am written jb eoc you know uh, maybe here or back whatever you want to given so it will be given over here here so this line will be repeated once again and once again and once again here jb eoc here here jb eoc here so what will be the function sir you know these uh, if this time interval this time interval is nothing but a waiting you know wait microcontroller whether you know this um, this signal is high or not whenever this signal is low then coming into the next means whenever this coming over here it will be coming from this line to that line so this line is nothing but a checking how much time this signal is low how much time this signal is low how it will be done sir it will be done like that here one say uh, jnb jnb eoc here one so it will be check this time interval so it will be check this time interval so with the help of these instructions we are check this time interval we are with the help of these instructions we are checking this interval means after this instruction means we are enter over here means my conversion is over means the adc is conversion is over so how it will be you know doing the next step what are the what will be the next step what will be the next step next step will be nothing but a, we are given eoc signal we are given eoc signal high hey, sorry oe signal high we are given oe signal high full form of oe is output enable full form of oe is output enable whenever oe signal high that it should be after eoc signal it should be after eoc signal not before eoc signal so after checking this signal we are given oe signal is high and you know uh to synchronize with microcontroller and adc we are given after that there is a delay and after delay because you know eoc signal high given by the microcontroller the signal will be you know cached and corresponding functions will be done so you need adc sometimes so that's why i am given a certain times means say it will be end over here so i will be getting given a delay and i am getting all the data i am getting all the data over here so with the help of that we will be get the output data we will be get the output data this is the data bus this is nothing but a data bus this is a data bus so basically you know uh, these a fast we are given a um, again i am repeat once again first we are given ale signal then soc signal you know then we are checking the jb um, eoc here means we are check um, you know waiting for on this line then whenever you are coming into the low again we are using the jnb eoc here then oe signal will be make high and in that particular time interval we are getting the data that is the functions um, you, you know by done by the adc so this is start of conversion this is nothing but a soc start is nothing but a soc eoc is nothing but a end of conversion and ale is nothing but a ale and output enable is nothing but a oe this four is a very important pinch which is required to, to write the program just three those are the you know uh, name is given is sc and eoc sometime sc is called 
uh, WR and EOC is called INTR, that's like even over here. And these are how to select a uh, channel and analog channel. Just see my slide. <laughs> Whatever the I discuss, that will be explained over here. And these are the interfacing diagram. These are the interfacing di diagram, and uh, this is nothing but a you know uh, system clock. This is nothing but a system clock which is given to the ADC, or you can connect some 150 picofarad capacitor. Then it can be possible. Uh, you know, in a, um, uh, your um, uh, internet, uh, several uh, diagram is given for interfacing of ADC with H051 and it can be you can be done in that in this fashion also so how which pin is connected just see d0 to d7 that is a data bus connected with a port 1 that is p1.0 to p1.7 uh, sir uh, soc is connected with the p2.6 um, oe signal is connected with the p2.5 and you know ale signal is connected with the p2.4 and you know uh, eoc is connected with the p2.7 so just see these are the connections remember this thing otherwise you will not be able to understood the program so if you want if you have a camera so you just take a snap it is a very much you know requirement otherwise you cannot understood the program or if you have a pen so you write down all those things like ale are connecting with a you know p, bit p2.4 oe is connected with bit p2.5 soc is connected with p2.6 and eoc is connected with the p2.7 address a b c are connected with p2.0 p2.1 and p2.2 and data bus means d0 to d7 are connected with the port 1 these are the connect uh, you know uh, connections with 80 80 uh, um, 8051 with ALE, you know with the uh, our uh, adc so next we are coming into the program mm, if you want to write you can write down if you have any kind of queries you can ask this is the connections next uh, if you are just write down all those things next sir and this is nothing but a, uh, a programming in this programming just you just see first set b p2.7 p2.7 is nothing but a p2.7 is nothing but a eoc as eoc is a output signal eoc is nothing but a output signal of um, um, or, you know eoc signal is the output signal of adc but it's the input signal of microcontroller it's the input signal of microcontroller so it's the input signal of microcontroller so you know we are before starting the program we are given your eoc signal as a high and this is always we are right there the first line of the program is org 0000 8 means the program will be starting from 0008 next set you know p2.7 what are the functions of p2.7 so it will be configured as an input as i am given a high next sir clr p2.4 clr p2.6 and clr p2.5 what are the functions of this three these three is nothing but a is nothing but a ale soc and oe if i am talking about the you, you, uh, you know in my, my diagram whatever i uh, shown to you on the, you know my copy just see my copy you will be see ale signal at the beginning it is zero soc signal at the beginning it is zero and what about the oe signal at the beginning it is zero it will be one afterwards and it will be zero afterwards means if i am talking about the signal ale signal asoc signal and oe signal all are initially zero that will be given all are initially zero means ale signal asoc signal and oe signal all are initially zero sir next we are select a channel like 001 we are select the channel 1 we are select the channel 1 clrp 2.2 clrp 2.1 and set vp 2.0 means 001 so it will be select channel 1 next sir a call delay what are the functions of a call delay a call delay nothing but a, a, as you are selecting the channel but i already told to you that microcontroller you know faster device but adc is not so much faster with respect to microcontroller so that's why i am given a call delay so just select the channel then we will be given the ale signal 
then we will be given the ALE signal. Say to BP 2.4, we are given the ALE signal high. We are given the ALE signal high. And after ALE signal given high, again I am given using a call delay. I'm just wait for, you know, few milliseconds. So um, I am given a call delay. So next, what will be happen? We will be given SOC signal. SOC signal high. So a, first I am given ALE signal, then call delay. So next it will be, next it will be a, you know, SOC signal high. Just see the next slide. Set BP 2.6 means a, a um, SOC signal will be high. SOC signal will be high. Next sir, A call delay. What are the functions of A call delay? A call delay, nothing but again, you know, um, as you um, you see, the ALE signal is just see my copy. There should there should be a width, you know, up to up to a certain time this signal will be high. After a certain time it will be high. So that's why I'm given a A call delay. So after that both the signal will be become zero. After that both the signal becomes zero. So it will be nothing but a CLRP 2.4 and CLRP 2.6. CLRP 2.4 and CLRP 2.6. And you just see my copy. I already checked the EOC signal. How we are checking the EOC signal? We are checking the EOC signal by high stage. High stage is checking by nothing but a JV EOC here. And low stage, it will be checking by JNB EOC here one. So, you know, it is nothing but a, we are using JB and JNB. EOC is nothing but a signal. And EOC is connected with which pin? That is a P2.7. So first JB P2.7 and next JNB P2.7. First JB P2.7 and JNB P2.7. With the help of these two instructions, we are checking the EOC signal. Means after these two signal, you know, microcontroller will be entered into that particular positions. Microcontroller will be entered into that particular positions. After, you know, um, the getting these two, after these two signal, micro, microcontroller will be entered into that particular positions. So in that particular position, what will be done? We will be done nothing but a OE signal high. We are OE signal high and I given a delay. OE signal high and I am given a delay. Then I just, you know, getting the data. That is a info through p1 comma a means accumulator will be the content of p1 what is a p1 p1 is nothing but a connected with the data bus that is a d0 to d7 so the content of data bus will be coming into the accumulator and uh, what will be happen in the next so that will be nothing but a clrp 2.5 so oe signal makes zero oe signal makes zero and is jump back means you know it will be a return it will be written over here again select the channel channel one if you want to select any other channel means so then you can rotate a loop over here means you are given a corresponding you know a register or something like that or if you are select the same channel so no issue you will be given the same program from that so but you not required to p2.6 and this this three pin because this three pin after the instruction just see it will be zero zero it is also zero so it is not required to zero again and it is already configured as an input pin so no issues for that so that's the program of adc if you have any kind of queries regarding the adc program so you can you know ask me so i will be happy to give the answer otherwise i will be enter into the seven segment it is seven segment is very easy seven segment is very easy then i will be going into the uh, stepper motor then and i will be going into the you know lcd most important you know adc adc is very important whatever you are uh, connecting with a major project minor project whatever you do you should be do this similar kind of program with a similar kind of ic interfacings or something like that if you are connecting with a sensor so if you are connecting with a sensor adc is a very essential you know essential things so uh, can i proceed for the next Okay, sir. Uh, so I'm proceed, uh, uh, you know, for the next, that is uh, our next uh, thing is that seven segment. It's very simple. That's why I'm explained it first. So, you know, uh, you will be uh, pray for that. Uh, you know, seven segment is very easy. There will be a uh, seven segment, you know, uh, seven LED will be there. One is a one uh, A, B, C, you know, D, E, F, G. These are the segment we have. 
another segment is there that is called dot over here so this is the common cathode configurations it is a common cathode configurations if it will be common or not so this diode will be reversed so in the two you know uh, two configurations we sometime we are given zero then we will be getting uh, you know uh, if uh, so this this terminal this terminal in a common cathode what will be the common cathode just see in a is a common anode configuration so common cathode configuration is nothing but this one this is a seven segment connecting with a port 2.0 to port 2.6 or port 2.7 you can connect with a dot dot means this this seven segment the dot means is this seven segment so what will be the uh, you know functions of the uh, uh, this kind of things what are the functions of this kind of things is nothing but a, uh, you know uh, whatever you the given the value corresponding led will be grown up this is common cathode common cathode means uh, just like if i am talking about this this is the common cathode so if you are given over here like plus 5 volt and if you are connecting with a ground means with a resistance it will be connected with a the ground then this led will be glow if you are given over here ground and it is also ground so this led will not be glow so if i want to uh, get the zero display i want to get the zero display so what will be glow sir a b c d e f except g and except dot all the led will be glow all the led will be go a b c d e f so you will be see just like a zero so if you, i want to see the uh, you know to display one what will be glow b and c will be glow Say similarly two, three, and so on and so forth. So this is a common cathode configuration. So common cathode configurations. If I am talking about the common cathode and common anode, so common cathode means if I am given a zero, then the LED will be glow, and common anode is nothing but just a reverse, just a reverse you know diode. So it will be given a plus five volt, so that then that will be glow. Means a common cathode given plus five volt, it will be glow. Common anode just reverse. If you will be given a ground, then it will be glow. so how you are connecting this um, means how you display zero say just see my copy just see my copy there will be a b c d e f g and it is a dot these are the eight pin it, it will be connected say p2.02 to p2.7 or p1.02 p1.7 whatever it is any port so you want to display you want to display zero so you want to display zero means uh sorry you want to display zero means every led will be glow except g and dot except g and dot every led will be glow so in a common cathode mode common cathode means you are given a one so one 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 it do, it should be zero zero so it should be three f on the other mode that is if if it is a common anode mode then what will be happen if you are given zero then the led will be glow so these two bit will be one all our bit should be zero 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 so it should be zero it should be you nothing but a c so c zero so you can given you know c zero uh c0 given in a uh, to display zero you know just see there is a table just see in a common anode if you are given c0 then it will be display zero if a uh, common cathode you know cc mode it will be given 3f then it will be display zero jacks i again i am displaying uh, the common uh, common cathode common cathode mode common cathode mode i want to display one one means sir b and c will be glow b and c will be glow just see my copy this is a, a, a ca mode this is cc mode so next again cc mode to display one it is a display zero it is a display zero a display one means b and c will be b and c will be one so one one next all our bit will be zero what will be happen sir zero six so zero six will be the value just see 06 is the value in common anode just reverse just reverse 1111 next sir it will be 1001 just reverse 
that is f that is 9 that is f9 in the way you are, you can display 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so uh, there is a, I, I want to write a program where you know i want to display uh, i want to display you know uh, i want to display uh, 0 to 9 I want to display 0 to 9 in either in common anode and common cathode. I want to display in 0 to 9 common anode and common cathode how it will be done. So first just see the program. It's a very simple program. Just see the uh, circuit diagram. Common anode, a common cathode terminal. Common terminal should be connected with a ground with a 330 ohm resistance. And you know in a uh, common anode configurations, it will be connected with a you know, 330 ohm resistance. It will be connected with a plus 5 volt. So, uh, you know, uh, with the help of seven segment, you you can create a digital uh, clock. Digital clock means, uh, say, maybe uh, it, will, it can be generated using a microcontroller digital clock. So it will be, you know, uh, after every one second, it will be increased. And after one minute, it will be another increase. Means so time, uh, you know, hours and, you know, uh, second, whatever you require, you can give using the seven segment. So there will be a, a project, mini project or micro project, whatever you say, but it is a project where you, you know, just like a digital clock. So using that, it can be possible. Uh, so it will be, a, it can be a project. So next, how to display, just see move P2 comma hash C0H. It is a common, you know, just see, this program is nothing but a common anode program. So common anode program, so C0 will be display 0. So P2 will be C0, then A call delay. So it will be display, uh, uh, you know, 0. Sir, why A call delay is required? Because microcontroller working in a microsecond, but you are not. So you, are not, you will not be able to see whether it is display 0 or 1. So that's why you're given a delay so that it will be wet sometime. It may be one second, it may be two seconds, it may be three seconds. So it will be wet sometime. And you know, after that, it will be increased. So it will be fast, it will be display 0, then it will be display 1, then it will be display 2. Just see the table. 0, 1, 2, C0, first F9, then F4, A4, then B0, then 99, then 92, 82, all, all are done over here. First 0 display, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9. As well as repeat is jump here means again jump to the back again display from 0 to 9. So 0 to 9 display in common anode. So if I'm talking about the common cathode program, so this value will be changed. Change. So C0 will be changing to 3F, 06, 5B, 4F, 66, etc. So you know, uh, just see. Uh, uh, you know, uh, instead of common anode, it, if there will be a common cathode, just see the value is changed. CF, 06, 5B, means whatever the value, you know, whatever the value is available, whatever the value is available over here, that is a D0 to D7, 3F, 06, 5B, 4F, etc. Et All the value is nothing but a, it will be stored in a, in common, um, uh, it, it is nothing but a common anode, so it is a common cathode. All the programs, only the value is changed. So as a result, as a result, you will be get the display of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. So what are the significant, you know, uh, delay? Delay is required. Otherwise, you cannot see the, you know, 0 or 1 or 2 display. Otherwise, you know, everything is just like a LED will not be glow. Just because you, you cannot see in a microsecond, but microcontroller working in a microsecond. So that's why I'm connecting a delay with, with every, every 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. If anything, any queries, if you have, you can ask. Otherwise, I'm go going into the next interfacing, that is stepper motor interfacing. And there is the biggest interfacing is uh, waiting for you, that is the LCD interfacing in the last. So can I proceed? Okay. So basically, next we are coming into the uh, our another yeah, that is a stepper motor. 
in stepper motor uh, uh, if i'm explaining the stepper motor first so that will be better uh, so uh, i'm explaining you the stepper motor just see you know uh, stepper motor is, is basically used to uh, rotate a, any small angle any small angle can be rotated by a stepper motor that's the main significant of a stepper motor so stepper motor can be rotated any small angle so how it will be stepper motor is working just if i'm you just see the copy so the, you will be able to understood what are the you know uh, uh, how to working in a stepper motor so in a stepper motor maybe if there this is a two phase stepper motor so there are four uh, stator is there so these stator one terminal every one terminal connected with a ground say this terminal every one terminal connected with a ground every one terminal is connected with the ground there you know there is a rotor there is a rotor so one you know one four phase stepper motor four rotor is there one step one four phase stepper motor four rotor is there every rotor remember every rotor every rotor you know uh, you, you you will be get every rotor you will be get you know every rotor you, you will be get 50 50 teeth teeth means teeth means if you are see my copy the teeth means just like i said this is a, just rotor so i'm i'm doing this kind of things so, so these are the teeth these are the teeth so every every rotor have a 50 teeth 50 teeth so you know the if four phase stepper motor so four rotor will be there and four rotor means 50 into four so 200 teeth will be there 200 teeth will be there how these teeth will be connected just like say this is a rotor and this is another rotor just like that means one after another one after another so means you are assuming this is a, is a one rotor and one rotor with a 200 teeth so 200 teeth will be there so 200 teeth so how many rot if full rotations how, what will be the total angle 360 degree so you know 360 by 200 teeth feet it is nothing but a 1.8 degree one step small rotations it can be done by a four phase stepper motor is 1.8 degree and uh, you know if you want to um, you, if you want to calculate you, you you can it is a four uh, four phase stepper motor so that will be four rotor four rotor means 200 teeth 200 teeth means you know uh, you you have you know about uh, 360 by 200 so that will that will be nothing but a 1.8 degree you know single single very small angle 1.8 degree it can be rotated so if you you want to rotate you know 90 degree so you you, you will be repeat 1.8 into x times so it will be 90 so if you if you, if you need you know 180 degree it can be possible if you need 45 degree it can be possible so using that you know you can change any kind of angle and that is the important of uh, you know uh, stepper motor next time talking about the how stepper motor is working just see my copy so if this is a this is nothing but a if this is nothing but a stator stator also like that so there will be a north pole south pole north pole south pole north pole south pole north pole south pole and north pole and you know uh, whatever the we we have the rotor rotor will be the different like like it will be south pole north pole south pole north pole south pole north pole south pole north pole south pole so if i am changing if i am changing the poles of you know stator if i am changing the poles of stator then will be it will be rotated once one teeth one teeth is nothing but a 1.8 degree 1.8 degree so how it will be done so just like a sir said this is a a this is a b this is a C and this is a D. First, say I am given a plus five volt in 
A. Just see my copy. I am given plus 5 volt in A and I am given ground over here. We are given ground over here and we are given ground over here. Means A will be plus 5 volt, B will be ground, C will be ground and D will be ground. Then in the second step, we are given over here ground. Over here plus 5 volt. Over here plus 5 volt. And over here plus 5 volt. What will be happen? You know, the stator will be rotated in this side 1.8 degree for either single change. So next, again it will be ground. Again B will be ground. Again C will be plus 5. Sorry, it is a ground. Before that it is ground. It will be again given plus 5 volt. Over here we are given ground. Over here we are given ground. Means now C will be energized. So first A will be energized, then B will be energized, then C will be energized, then D will be energized, then A, B, C, D in, in this pattern. So you know, you know, your stepper motor will be rotated in clockwise. On the other hand, if I want to rotate in anti-clockwise, how it will be done? First A, then D, then C, then V. So rotate, you know, motor will be rotated in this fashion. Means your motor will be rotated in anti-clockwise or reverse, you know, reverse directions. Something like that. This is a called one coil energized method. This is called one coil energized method. If I am talking about the two coil energized method, then you, you will be energized A, B at a time. A, B at a time. So A, B first energized, then B, C will be energized, then C, D will be energized, then D, A will be energized, then A, B will be energized, then B, C will be energized. Means two coil at a time. So if I'm um, shown to you a table, so that will be understood. So first just see A energized, then B, then C, then D. All are zero except A will be one. Then B will be energized, all the bits will be zero. C will be energized, all the bits will be zero. And last that is D will be energized and all the bits will be zero. In this way, motor will be rotated in a clockwise. On the other hand, it anti-clockwise, if I'm talking about the anti-clockwise, so you know, you, you can see this is nothing but a A, B. A, B is nothing but a A, B energized. Then B, C energized. Then C, D energized. Then D, A energized. In this way, you know, full phase with a two coil energized method. And next, first one coil, then two coil, it can be done. First one coil, then two coil. First one coil, then two coil. First one coil, then two coil. It is increase the accelerations. And uh, secondly, first one coil, then two coil. In this way, motor can be rotated. So next, I'm coming into this diagram. I'm coming into this diagram. Uh, what are the function of this? Uh, stepper motor, you know, uh, available in the market, maybe 12 volt, maybe 5 volt. So it will be given a voltage over here. And whatever the, you know, value is given, value is given by the uh, microcontroller, it cannot be handled the stepper motor because it needs more power. So that's why, you know, increase the power amplifier. Power amplifier is nothing but a, you are, you are connecting a ICs like that ULN 2803A. Or you using, uh, using uh, you know, you, uh, you, you have an op-amp or you know, have a transistor, so you can create your own also. So ULN 2803 available in the market, you know, nowadays it is available in the market. So it is just like a power amplifier. So it is just like a, you know, uh, handle the stepper motor very well. So I'm connecting these four pin, that is a pin uh, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 and 2.6. 2.4, uh, you know, uh, pin. So uh, just see my copy. I am just uh, explaining once again uh, in my copy. So uh, if you able to understand. Next, just see, say P2.7.6.5 P2 .7, 0.4 0.5 0.1, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.1, 0.0, means it is a P2.0, P2.0, right? P2.0 to P2.7, there is a port, and it's connected with a, just C, it is a A, it is a B, it is a C, and it is a D. A, B, C, D is connected. So I have first energized these two. So all are zero, okay? All are zero. Just see P2.3, 
2 p2.6 next this value repeated once again you know for rotations and all for rotations and all so these four only connected so now energized a b now energized a and b now energized a and b so now energized a and b so next i want to energize b and c now energized b and c next we are using a delay program i am given a delay why delay i will be discuss later on but i am given a delay after that i am just rotate rotate in this side means means rotate from left to right left to right so what will be the instructions rr so this zero will be coming over here so zero zero one one zero zero one one so now b and c will be energized now b and c will be energized b and c energized before a b is energized now b c will be energized if i am given delay then again rotations what will be happened it will be you know energized energized c and d will be energized c and d will be energized next if i am given another rotations so it will be you know d and a will be energized so you can give like either 66 either 33 or any kind of value whatever whatever you know you will be get from this after rotations so in my program i am given 66 just see my slide i am given a 66 move a comma has 66 h move p2 comma a what are the functions you know 66 whatever i given that is a 66 you know in my copy i am mentioning in the first that is a 66 hexadecimal 66 so 66 h i am given in a port 2 so after that rra rra means it will be rotated 66 will be rotated and it will be becomes 33 so 66 after 66 which coil will be energized it will be ab will be energized remember ab will be energized next a call delay why delay is required i i told you that you should be given a delay you know microcontroller working in a microsecond the stepper motor will not be you know um, working or you know given in a certain speed or it cannot be response in a certain speed so i am given a delay a call delay so that's why i am given a delay then is jump back means this line to that line this line to that line again coming into the whatever the you know value of rra means after 33 again going into the port 2 again coming into the rra again a call delay a call delay means jump from this line to that line and you know uh, wait for um, how to working this delay i already discussed to you and you know this is a two loop delay i discussed one two and three loop delay. this is a delay program and is jump back from this line to that line again you know this procedure continue um, going on and going on and going on so motor will be rotated you know motor will be rotated in a clockwise if you want to rotate the anti clockwise then rra will be replaced by rla rra will be replaced by rla rla rra will be replaced by rra you know uh, uh, rra will be replaced by rla that is the functions next sir another thing i want to explain you that is the if you are delay it will be less so motor speed will be increased if delay will be high so motor speed will be reduced that is the functions of this program to increase the speed or to decrease the speed we are using this kind of things if you anything if you want to know you, i can uh, happy to explain you or otherwise i'm enter into the next that is nothing but a lcd it's a very important one and uh, it takes some time So can I proceed? Okay. This is the LCD.
this is a lcd how lcd is working you know uh, there are two line 20 characters there this is a two line and 20 characters lcd uh, you know uh, two lines 20 character lcd so basically in two line 20 character lcd uh, what are the functions of two line 20 character lcd it will be display you know 20 characters per line and there will be two lines if i'm talking about the lcd lcd you also required you know two different mode lcd also required you know two different mode what are the different mode sir remember how to display and what is display that's a very important thing how to display and what is display uh, that's the main part of the lcd how to display and what is display it's a very important thing how to display and what is display what does it mean sir how to display and uh, what is display sir you have a two different line maybe your display in coming in this side maybe coming in from that side maybe in the second line coming in this side maybe second line coming in that side maybe your display just like you know just like a sign curve so whatever you want to display means how to display in your um, um, lcd you how to display whether your cursor will be on or off whether cursor will be blink or not all will be depend upon you it is nothing but a call the you know uh, how to display and next is what is display what you want to display it can be possible using your uh, you, you should be given their ascii code means if you want to display a so you will be given 41 if you want to display b you will be given 42 if you will be given display c so it will be given 43 means ascii code of a b c d whatever you want to display you will be given next what is display how to display how to display depend upon the lcd to lcd it is not a fix for every lcd and it will be depend upon the you know data sheet of that particular lcd so i am given a um, one kind of lcd and uh, you know this kind of lcd uh, maybe lcd is strange maybe lcd is uh, is a bigger way maybe a smaller way so depend upon that maybe this value will be changed but what is display and how to display this will not be changed and how to display it will be given in the data set several kind of uh, display procedure is mentioning in the data set so you, whenever you purchase you will be get the data set you will be get this kind of value so, but i will be explain why how to display and what is display three and and these three is a very six is a very important pin one two three and four five six one two three four five six it's a very important pin this six one is connected always with the ground two is connected always with a plus five volt and three volt is a cheap pin number three is connecting with a 10k resistance sir what are the functions of 10k resistance 10k resistance is nothing but a given to control the intensity of the lcd intensity control it is a use just like a intensity control of the lcd next point number four is a very 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 important point number four if it is a zero then it's called instructions common word means how to how to display you know, whenever you are given an instructions and how to display then rs rs should be zero and what is display then rs should be one what is display then rs should be one just see this is the rs if zero then it is called instruction common word if rs is equal to one then it's called data data uh, with data registers something like that allow the users to send the data to be display means if zero then if it is zero then uh, you know it is called uh, how to display and it is one then what is display next rw rw is a uh, another thing is that one is a read another is write um, write means um, how to display and what is display whatever the data you want to send into the lcd all the cases it will be writing and all the cases rw will be zero all the cases rw will be zero and whenever the reading reading means say anyone are doing a good programming and this display is just like a just like a sine wave so you want to see um, how it will be possible so then reading can be done then read can be possible then rw will be nothing but a one so read we are not doing over here we are doing the either how to display and what is display both the cases rw will be zero both the cases rw will be zero so remember rw will be zero for both the cases how to display and what is display and rs for the you know first time whenever how to display is it is a it is a zero but what is display it will be one and every case is en en is nothing but enable it is a 450 nanosecond pulse we are given over here 450 nanosecond pulse we are we will be given over here that is the function of
so 450 nanosecond pulse will be given you know uh, 450 nanosecond pulse you will be given uh, in this pin so uh, 450 nanosecond is nothing but a you given first before it is a low then it will be high you will be given two or three nop nop means uh, no, no operation so it will be delay certain 450 nanosecond is very less so two or three you know uh, two uh, two nop if you are given after that it will be becomes after that it will be becomes low so just like if i'm you know draw a copy so 450 nanosecond pulse like that so first it is zero then it will be one then it will be zero uh, how it will be get delay it's not a big delay 450 nanosecond so you are given two nop it will be work nothing else so next uh, how the program will be done uh, next uh, that will be display you know how display um, uh, next uh, our program is that i want to display a v c d so these are the you know you will be get it no issues you will be read it uh, 450 nanosecond pulse and rw is equal to one when reading and w is equal to zero when writing we are both the cases we are doing the writing case and 450 nanosecond pulse we are given and these are the data bus d0227 remember just see uh, D0 to D7 connected with P1.0 to P1.7. P1.0 to P1.7, that is a D0, this is a microcontroller pin. This is connected with a P2.2, P2.0, P2.1, and it is connected with P1.0 to P1.7. Say you are uh, given a data to the LCD. Say we are given a port A, I am given a data. This data will not be received into the LCD until you are given RS, RW, and enable until you are given RS, RW and enable. Otherwise, this data will not be entered into the LCD. Say so whenever you are given any value into the port one, as it is a connected with the LCD, it will not be entered into the LCD. It will be coming in these particular pin, not enter into the LCD because you are, if you are not given RS, RW and enable, you are given these three signals, so they, this data will be entered into the LCD. So maybe it's a common word, maybe it's for instructions, word, whatever it is, means how to display or what is display, whatever you want to uh, given the data in LCD, uh, before that you should be given these three signal. Next, uh, these are the pins, whatever I already discussed. And uh, this is how to display in the LCD, how to display in the LCD. And I will be explained later on whenever I coming into the, uh, this is a two example, coming into the program, you will be, um, um, you, I will be explained. So just going into the program, uh, first I want to display AVCD in LCD screen. AVCD LCD screen, it is a program. Just uh, listen very carefully, very important and very interesting program it, is it. You know, uh, otherwise you cannot understood uh, whatever you know uh, this program is going on. Just listen very carefully, otherwise you cannot understood. ORG 00008. First, it is the starting of the program. We are always starting with ORG 00008. Next, move DPTR comma has config. So, what are the functions of move DPTR comma has config? It's nothing but a sir. Uh, move DPTR comma has config is nothing but a uh, you know. Um, first, we are doing the value of configurations value of configurations means value of these locations value of these locations is nothing but a the memory locations nothing but a where the 38h is stored where the 38h is stored 38 means in a in a particular any after writing this program maybe this this is maybe 0023 maybe 0013 whatever it is any locations where the 38h is stored where the 38 is stored. These are the nothing but a configurations value mean how to display. And this is nothing but a what is display. What is display means just see, I want to display A, B, C, D. What are the ASCII of A? A ASCII is 41, B ASCII is 42, C ASCII is 43, and D ASCII is 44. And the last I'm connecting with AFF. Similarly, in this set, how to display, I'm given 38, 0, 0, 6, 0, 1, and C0. And what are the means, how is 38, I and mean, what are the functions of 38 if I'm going into the, this table in the previous, uh, you know, previous slide. This table, 38, you just eliminating these two portions, RS and RW, forget about it. You are given 38, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. That is the 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, 8 means 1. 0, 0, 0. So, 0, 0, uh, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 0, 0. I'm just written, so it will be understood very 
easily it is a zero it is also nothing but a zero it is one 38 it is a one it is a one it is a zero it is a zero and it is a zero so that is a 38 so just see dl is equal to one means means one oblique zero one means eight bit per character one means eight bit per character one means eight bit per character and uh, n is equal to one means just see two rows of character i am open two rows next f is equal to zero means just see five into seven dots per character so whatever i required i am just selecting you can given the different value this kind of value available in the data sheet also uh, you know uh, this this kind of value will be get the data sheet also so you if you want you can uh, you know you will, you will be get it so next zero e zero e just see the zero e zero e means sir zero e means over here just see zero 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 one 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 zero means if i am talking about zero e so it will be like a zero 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 E means one, 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 zero. You should be check up to this bit, so you will be enter into the into this line. So D one means screen on, C one means cursor on, B zero means not blink. Cursor will not be blink. So in this way, you can give any kind of value. So uh, next, I am coming into the uh, you know main program. So we are given this kind of value, uh, you know, we, we are given this kind of value 38, 0, 0, 6, 0, 1, and C0. So next set, move dptr comma config. So what are the functions? This address of 38H, where the 38H is stored, this is stored into the dptr. It will be stored into the dptr. It will be stored into the dptr register, right? Remember, this is the total program. So this memory is nothing but a code memory. This memory is nothing but a code memory. Next, a call config display. A call config display means jump from this line to that line. Config display, a call config display. So jump from this line to that line. Jump from this line to that line. What are the functions? CLRA means clear accumulator so accumulator will be zero before the instructions any value but after the instruction it will be zero clra next move c a comma at the rate of a plus dptr c c stand for c stand for it's nothing but a program memory c stand for it is nothing but a program memory right a plus dptr what are the functions of a plus dptr is nothing but a just c dptr is nothing but a the um, locations where the 38h is stored the locations where the 38h is stored so the 38h just see 38h is stored is nothing but a into the particular memory location which is located by config so the memory location which is located by 38h and accumulator is zero so the content of that particular memory locations is nothing but a 38h so the content of that particular memory location is nothing but a 38h so 38h will be stored into the accumulator so 38h will be stored into the accumulator so what are the functions what are the functions sir functions is nothing but a so you know after the instruction after the instructions accumulator will be 38h so it should be sent into the lcd how that will be discussed later on next inc dptr so before the instructions i inc dptr config is pointing the 38h as i increment dptr so now dptr the dptr is nothing but the value of config so now after the inc dptr the config will be display zero you know point the zero eh means the address of zero eh now it is the uh, store into the dptr because i already increased dptr by one so i am dptr so what are the value of dptr the address where zero e is stored so very good so uh, i am dptr next cjne a comma has ffh that's why i am using ff it, it should be zero ff if, uh, there is a mistake it should be zero ff but i am compare and jump if not equal if they are not equal the content of a after these instructions, the content of A is nothing but a 38H. So 38H and FF, both are compared together. If they are equal, 
then you know if they are equal then coming into the rt means return to that as accumulator now is 38h so these are not compare you know not equal with ff so it will be jump to the comd compare m jump if not equal so it is a not equal so jump to the comd so jump over here comd so what are the functions of comd a nothing but a a call common word means jump from this line to that line a call common word common word just see how to go to common word just see the common word what are the common word i am given move p1 comma a means the content of accumulator what are the value of accumulator accumulator value is nothing but a now is 38h these will be stored into the port 1 these will be stored into the port 1 port 1 is nothing but a just see the diagram port 1 is nothing but over here so i am given 38h in that particular port i am given 38h in that particular port means over here is 38h but it will not be enter into the lcd until we are given rs rw and enable rs rw and enable so what are the value of rs rs should be we are given zero rw we should be given um, you know should be given rw is equal to zero and rs would be zero and enable we are given a 450 nanosecond pulse we are given a 450 nanosecond pulse so uh, so if, So 450 nanosecond pulse. Just go to this. Yeah. Uh, move P1 comma A. So what are the value of accumulator? 38H. Because you know before the instructions from these instructions you are getting 38H. So accumulator will be 38H, which enter into the port one, which enter into the port one. Then CLR P2.0 and CLR P2.1. What are the functions of CLR P2.0 and CLR P2.1? Is nothing but a you know these two pin will be zero zero these two pin will be zero zero what are the functions of these two pin these two pin is nothing but a sir uh, um, initially it will be zero because you know uh, rs and rw both should be zero zero whatever i talk rs is nothing but it is a instructions common word so it will be zero and rw is equal to zero because it's a nothing but a writing so I'm um, both the signals will be zero zero. Next, sir, EN signal that is a pin number six that is connected with pin 2.2. EN signal we are given a 450 nanosecond pulse. Pulse it will be high, then two NOP, then it will be low. Means first it will be high, then two NOP, then it will be low. So we are given a 450 nanosecond pulse. Then return, return from this line where it is called. It's it's called you know. It's called from this, so it will be jump over here. A call delay because LCD is not a faster device like microcontroller. So I'm just wait few few milliseconds, then you know come into the S jump config display. Means the jump from this line to config display again over here. So again, before the instruction accumulator is 38H. Again, it will be zero. So move C A comma at the rate of A plus DPTR. Now DPTR is point as in the previous case we are increased the DPTR. So now DPTR is point zero E H. So now after the instruction accumulator will be zero E H. After the instruction will be zero E H. So it's a zero E H stored into the you know move C next C J N E A comma has F F and common means if uh, oh, sorry i'm uh, just eliminating this one uh, inc dptr means dptr will be increment by one so dptr next point will be zero six next again compare accumulator with ff as these are the not equal so jump to the comd what are the function of comd again jump over here again a call common word common word means again going into the this line again doing the same functions Again, back to the return into the de uh, delay. Again, jump over here. As I so on, these uh, this continue first 38 will be sent into the LCD, then 0E, then 06, then 01, then C0. Then coming FF. When coming in FF, then CJNE A comma FF means they are equal. So it will not be jump into the COMD. It as it is a equal, so it will not be jump into the COMD. As it is a equal, so it will not be jump into the COMD. So what will be the functions? It will be return. Return into where? Where is the first time it's called? It's first time call from that. A call config display. So it will be return into the next line. Move DPTR comma message one. 
move dptr comma has message one so what are the message one message one is nothing but a store the address of 41 h store the address of 41 h so dptr will be now 41 h next a call display a call display means jump from this line to display display means over here clra first again the same instruction clra clear the accumulator move c a comma at the rate of a plus dptr inc dptr so how are the what will be the value of after these instructions clr accumulator what are the value of dptr dptr is nothing but a message one message one is nothing but a address of 41 h so accumulator is zero dptr is address of 41 h so the you know address plus zero means same address so it will be nothing but the content of accumulator will be 41 h so inc dptr increment dptr by one increment dptr by one so what will be happen increment dptr by one so bef before the instruction it is you know uh, point the uh, point the 41 so next it will be point the 42 next it will be point the 42 next it will be point the 42 so it will be point the 42 you know, uh, so DPTR uh, uh, first um, um, accumulator will be 41. Then coming into the CJNE, A comma has FF. So compare with accumulator and FF. It is, it both are equal. Is not equal. Then coming into the data. Coming into the data means jump from this line to that line. A called data word. So this is the common word. So there should be a there should be a data word. What will be the change of data word and common word? Can you explain what will be the change of data word and common word? Same program will be there instead of RS is equal to zero, RS should be one. Means CLRP 2.0 will be replaced by setb P 2.0. This is the RS. So CLRP 2.0 is for the common word, means how to display as we are talking about the message. So it is a, what is display. So RS will be nothing but a one. So just going into the uh, it is a data, so it will be um, uh, coming into the data word, a called data word. This is a common word, is a data word. So next we'll be going into the data word. Coming into the data word, you know, move P1, comma A. So what will be the value of accumulator? Accumulator value is nothing but a sir. Accumulator value is 41H. It will be entered into the port 1. You are given RS is equal to 1. You are given RW is equal to 0. You are given EN is equal to 450 nanosecond pulse, then return. return means where it is called it is called from a call data word so again count over here a call delay again is jump display again coming into that clra again accumulator will be zero before the instruction 41 so 41 will be becomes zero then move c a comma at the rate of a plus dptr now dptr is pointing the 42 so accumulator will be 42 as so on and so forth up to ff means display up to 44 in this way, A, B, C, D will be displayed. And delay is nothing but a, you are right, a delay program, whatever I explain you previously. It's clear to you. Clear to you. At this end, uh, say if I'm talking about the uh, just like a LCD interfacing with a project, just like L LCD interfacing project, I want to see you a program. I will be given to you no issues, but uh, I just uh, shown to you. So this is a program, sir. This is a similar program. Can you see the program? Can you see the program move DPTR comma config? Very good. Uh, we are always, we are write a program into the notepad. We are always write a program into the notepad and you know, after the notepad, uh, uh, write a program into the notepad. We are just, you know, uh, store the program as a save as a, uh, file name dot asm so we are given a program in the uh, same uh, same fashions so uh, you know these four line you just see this program these four line repeated once again and once again and once again these four line this is a one time this is two time this is three time four time five time six time seven time and so on and so forth so and what are the changing changing is nothing but a you know config is changing 
and message one is changing just see config it will be replaced by config 2 and you just see message one it will be replaced by message one one it will be message you know message two message two one config one just see so several configurations value is there in this program so this is a program uh, this is a project uh, the, where i write a program this is a program is nothing but a, a group of people uh, you know are doing this kind of project which is display their name nothing else uh, so uh, what are the you know configurations value i just coming under that there are three configurations value means how to display it is a three types of display over here that is one is a config one is a config one another is config two and what are the message messages like like that message one and message one one welcome to gcr gcr is a college name so welcome to gcr next is you know nothing but a message two is nothing but a design by means who will be designed those are the names is there and ne next is guided by is you know is my name is there so in this way it can be displayed the program basically the same if i am talking about whatever you know these four line basically the same whatever i discuss you you know if i'm talking about the lcd program and this program basically same this four line just see this four just see this four just see this four all are basically same and what will be done same program uh, as we are uh, display uh, we are explaining to the config display command same program you know command word just see uh, rsw and you know um, rw both are zero zero and an should be 415 nanosecond pulse then display then data data will be the same and data word is nothing but a just rs you just see rs is equal to one and rest all are the zero this is nothing but a delay program and this, this is the end of my program means it is nothing but a you can display all the names So anything if you want, otherwise uh, we are uh, back up today uh, because my course is over and uh, whatever I want to display, you know, whatever the interfacing is there, LCD, stepper motor, ADC, everything is done. So uh, if uh, anything is doesn't, uh, you have any kind of queries or if you have a query, so you can send me a mail. I already given to you my mail ID. Anything is required, I, I will be very, very happy to give you the answers or you and to help you. Uh, so next, uh, if you, uh, you know, Pankoj, if you, your hand, whatever you want to say, you can say, and then it will be end up end of our sessions today okay sir my portion is over okay sir so uh, as we all know that a good thing every good thing has a beautiful end and we are now at the uh, last end of this program and uh, uh, thanks to sudipta sir uh, means uh, we cannot give uh, how many thanks we are giving because he because he has dedicated the entire five days to this particular program and uh, he has conveyed his thoughts, his uh, different things means the energy we are getting from him means the things we are getting from him. He is a very energetic person. I know personally and he every times whenever or anything comes to teach or for any faculty development program, he never uh, he always accept the things. So first of all, uh, now this is a time for good thanks to the for the program that we are conducted from the last five days. So first of all, I would like to give my heartiest thank to Sudipto sir for first of all accepting the thing, accepting the accepting the program, and uh, given the time for ten hours. Even in the first day, you had all, also taken a supplementary lecture uh, session for the participants those who are not able to join in the first class. So thank you very much, sir. You were given us a lot. We are learning from a lot from all of from you, and we hope uh, we will implement this thing in our course curriculum as much as possible. 
Uh, next, I would like to thank our Techno India group. Uh, uh, our the Dumka Engineering College is a part is a is an unit of Techno India group, and we are thanks to Techno India group, and we are also thank to Meghdoot sir for uh, giving his uh, basic uh, lecture in the first class in the first day program, and we are also thankful to uh, our vice chairman Mohit Chatterjee sir for supporting us a lot in this particular program. We are thank thankful to Techu Phase Three also because without uh, this program, this was uh, entirely uh, sponsored by Techu Phase Three, which is a Techu Phase Three sponsored program. So Techu Phase Three is also a uh, thing which has uh, given us a lot of things, lot of scopes, lot of uh, programs which in which we are interacting with each other and share our views and share our thoughts on different topics. And we, I would like to thank to our principal sir, Dr. Palas Pal sir for uh, supporting us a lot in this particular program because without his support, this program is basically not possible. He is the one person, he is the only person in the institute who always motivates and inspires us to do different things, different innovative and motivative things as much we can because whenever we have a, we have a, uh, we have a period to lock down the institute, we always plus uh, inspire us to do something innovative so that it will enhance uh, our, uh, our it, it will enhance the interaction between the student and the teacher and the education gap that we are facing in the lockdown situation can be minimized as minimum as possible so thank you Pala, sir. a very thanks to all of you because you were supporting us a lot to do this entire program and i also like to thank we also like to thank our vice principal ratan sir tekip coordinator sujit sir all head of the departments, all faculty members, all technical assistants, all teaching staff, all non-teaching staff, and the entire management of Dumka Engineering College for giving us a platform, for helping us a lot to conduct this particular program. I would like to specially thank two persons who is beha behind the screen, that is Saptarsi Sarkar and Ayandas. Uh, staff, two staffs of our electrical department who has did contributed a lot in this program because all the things, all the attendance, all the Excel sheets, all the participant list was being conducted by them all only. So thanks the sister and I answer. And uh, lastly, I would like to thank all the participants because without your support, without your active support, this program will not be possible. So all the participants, active participants from the 15 states of our country, India, that is Jharkhand, West Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, Karnataka, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Delhi, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, and Haryana. Thanks to or thanks to all the sir, thanks to all the madam for your active participation in this program. Hope in future also we will conduct such type of program in which we expect more participations from your end. And now I would like to uh, I would like to uh, uh, transfer my mic. I would like to request our honorable principal Palas sir to say something on this particular program on the ending ceremony. Please Palas sir, say something. Good afternoon, Sudipta sir. Good afternoon, Pongo sir. Good afternoon. good afternoon, sir. And good afternoon, all participants from entire country. From uh, actually, uh, whatever uh, we have arranged the FDP to get something, but uh, finally, actually, I, I I have attended in each and every session. I have seen this program because I am belongs to electrical engineer. Uh, because last uh, 17 to 18 years ago, I have completed this course, microprocessor course. So now, after a long time, after a long period, I, I have attended uh, such kind of courses personally. This is from my point of view. And just, I, I, have, got, I have got many things and many new things and many uh, actually new things that is needed in now time. And for this thing, a special thanks to Suhita sir for giving such kind of informative session, wonderful session. And the entire, entire faculty members, entire staffs, those are associated with this program. 
and uh, to for conduct such kind of such a beautiful program just i have nothing just i i can say okay this thing you do you do but finally you have done it so uh, or not only that whatever program yeah you are organizing from the institute that that is really good that is really good and from my point of view obviously go ahead for future and great time and great time for dumka engineering college uh, in this in this pandemic situation of covid 19 whatever whatever uh, you have taken initiative uh, for online classes uh, interactive classes the different types of webinars and this is this is really very good this is really very good thing Uh, for who are the faculty member and the administrator, the staff uh, and the uh, faculty members and the students. Basically, whatever uh, stakeholders are associated with this or teaching and learning process. And for this thing, thanks to all, thanks to all participants from entire country for attending uh, this program, and especially Sudipto sir for again Sudipto sir for giving such a Beautiful, wonderful session. Uh, uh, informative, uh, actually lecture, uh, lecture things. And thank you to all for attending. And not only that, in next we have many webinars. So if possible, you try to uh, do attend. So it will be get uh, many things uh, during the pandemic situation of COVID-19. And thanks to all on behalf of Dumka Engineering College. Thank you, Palas sir. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank now, you, sir. Uh, now I will request uh, our. Uh, we have uh, different dedicated. We have different professors. We have different uh, senior most professors in this interaction in this session. So I would like to request if anybody of any of the One participants thing. want yeah. to say something. Open the open the sir. Hey. Yeah, open yeah. Open the sir is there. Open the sir is there. Who is the uh, uh, from? Open the sir. Please say something about because you are a active participant throughout the session. So if you are there, if you can, if you if you can, uh, if you are there, please say something. Or anybody, anyone from the participant, I am requesting all the participant to say something about the program. What you are thinking, what you are feeling, what are the feedbacks that you want to provide us? Please say something. So myself, Sarana Afrin Chandel, I am from Integral University, Lucknow. I would like to thank all the members and all the teamwork working behind. Also, front person always get the credit of it, but the back uh, members at the back working at the back they don't and uh, they are not recognized even. I'm uh, I'm thankful to uh, sir who's giving lecture, Pankaj sir. He has given us a beautiful lecture. Even I teach a microcontroller in MTech, so I found it very useful. Lecture for giving me more information about it. So thankful to all the team executing this session. What I see, he can be master of eight zero five one. So I am doing PLD renewable energy, yes, and um, I am also having a project, also funded project, also in renewable energy. Wow, it's a great, great achievement, yes. ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. If anybody, anyone more want to say something about the program, please say something. Sir, any I would case, like to any thank. Sir, any? Yes, madam. Ah. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, madam. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Chakraborty, sir, as well as uh, Pankaj, sir, the principal, and all the staff of Dumka Engineering College. and i feel privileged because first day couldn't join i was given a second chance on the second day from that or day onwards i could do it and uh, this is the first time i am doing online sir zoom because uh, I, i was not used to all this and lockdown has helped us to learn all this and uh, it was very useful for uh, me because i'm Uh, handling a higher version of this real time embedded system for the mtech students but the basic things i missed because during our time microcontroller was not there sir okay uh, because i finished already 33 years of service is over just remaining 4 years Good. is remaining mine but it was very useful for me i understood some basic things sir now thank you very much sir thank you ma'am thanks a lot thank you thank you ma'am
anyone from the participant with the help of that we are communicate with each other you know with the help of zoom and with the help of this kind of online platform we are basically communicate with the others uh, you know uh, now uh, you know you and my distance may be more than 1500 kilometers but we are communicating yes, that's a good thing and that's a technology maybe but tomorrow we think will be some extra benefit or something like that so will be uh, as we are the uh, you know we are from the technology so we should be used uh, to it and we are get the privilege of it and that's the you know important things uh, for uh, this kind of sessions thank you madam thanks for thank your you, valuable words and uh, if uh, anyone participant want to say something any comment any suggest then any feed what you feel please share your views to us as a feedback we can take it as our feedback any of the participants please sir yes sir sir uh, this is yagarajan from coimbatore uh, yes sir coimbatore institute of engineering and technology thank uh, you sir. the session was handled uh, uh, in a very timely manner and the time management uh, 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 kept by the uh, the teacher is uh, very good uh, and very informative the basic things uh, what are all we expect uh, he thought sir uh, very thank you thank you to all thanks thank you thank you sir uh, good afternoon to all the uh, presenters and the team members of the engineering college sir if possible uh, can you uh, um, uh, on your video so next sir please turn on your video actually i am facing the regarding uh, uh, internet problem okay sir okay sir Carry okay on. okay yeah, because today i faced a, a rigorous problem of in network okay uh, okay no issue no issue to turn on my audio also and uh, a good okay, portion go ahead. of your okay. I missed. So uh, anyway, uh, actually in this training program, what I missed, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what was there if the lockdown was uh, uh, not <clears throat> not be imposed at the practical session. I think uh, the theoretical session was as interesting as it was, and in addition to uh, this uh, theoretical program, is if uh, some. a uh, practical program was done which is uh, necessarily uh, i mean cannot be done under this lockdown situation so uh, i would personally uh, would like to uh, wish i i have a wish to uh, complete this session with a practical one so uh, i have a request to all the management of uh, engineering for us to conduct this kind of training program in uh, in near future uh, after the lockdown Uh, ends uh, with a practical, practical. Uh, I mean, uh, hands-on project. Thank you. Thank you, Sonal sir. Thanks for your. Actually, you know, uh, regarding the practical, it's a, it's my part. Uh, older, you know, I'm dividing my training. It is a 40 hours training because we are completing in a 10 hours. So I'm very fast, you know, in a manner for teaching. Uh, you know, I'm given a lecture on the. Uh, faculties uh, like you so uh, given within the 10 hours but it is a 40 hours training program uh, which i am conducting for the students and uh, in out of this 40 hours 20 hours for the theoretical and 20 hours for project there are several kind of project uh, i have in near about 20 or 25 projects is there so different different project i given to the students and with a circuit diagram you know they should be doing their programming and all that's why i have given another 20 hours so it is a, actually half of my training but i cannot yes, do anything yes. because this is a this is a nothing but it's an online program it is a not a you know uh, we don't have any kind of hardware now is not possible to procure yes, also yes, so that's the biggest problem otherwise uh, if uh, be possible i will be definitely do and uh, if uh, yeah i request i request you and uh, the management of dumka engineering college to after the lockdown ends this conduct yeah. uh, the practical yeah. one if possible if possible obviously sure. Uh, sure. you know uh, everyone is uh, you know situated in a very long long distance so i try my level best if is possible yeah. okay thank you sir thank you oh, oh. thank you sonak sir for your valuable 
suggestions and feedback. Anybody from the participant, those who want to share their views on this particular program? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Is yeah. my voice reaching? Madam. Yes, madam. Reachable. Uh, yeah, I am from Government Polytechnic, Ranchi. And throughout yeah. the session, I was uh, I was going through the session. I found that this session was not only interesting, but very informative. Because in FDP, generally three, four speakers are there. And uh, there, like something is in your field, something is not in your field. And all the topics are not very related to our working area. But in this uh, particular FDP, I found that this is in a like very specialized type of FDP where one can gain one knowledge in a particular area and in a very nice way. Because in this lockdown, it is not possible to come. And as well as for us, like ladies, it is very difficult to attend FDP in different states or in different places because we cannot Anyone? leave our children. We cannot make them school miss. And there are so many uh, constraints that we, at least we appreciate this online program. Because of this online program, we uh, get so many information, not only information, but also knowledge also. Like uh, I have done my PhD from Kitty University in the field of uh, protection of HBDC lives. So in that I have certain SCI papers also and there in CET and in Bola also, I attended many FDPs, but uh, like those FDPs, they were not uh, very much related to the common areas. Like some of them were from the papers of the uh, speaker itself. And that was not very interesting to listen. But here what I found, I am not from microcontroller background, but this, still this, this uh, FDP, this program was very interesting. And to uh, everything, like I have my, uh, I have my suggestions that if, since lecture notes are given, PPTs are given, so one can, if one if one has certain doubts, one can look for from them, and one can clear the doubts. So all these informations are given, which is not very easy in every FDPs. Like in FDP, speakers say something, but they don't give study material or some kind of uh, reading material which you can read after the FDP also. Thank you, sir. And you know, ma'am, uh, I'm the also the in the same your platform because you know whenever I also I, I attend more than two hundred FDPs and whatever in my mind, you know uh, that uh, every time where they are talking about their uh, papers and you know paper, you it is such a things I cannot understand with the one and two hours. Is it not possible yes, at all? That's I get right. only 5%, not more than that, ma'am. Because if I am explain my paper, I have a lot of paper in ITPL or something like that, then may not be someone is will be understood. Because I'm doing one project, you know, more than one year. How it will be possible to, you know, explain you within a one hour or two hours or three hours is not possible at all. So I am just given, I try to do that, but I don't know whatever I can. But uh, I try to do that a simple way or simple things uh, which can be, you know, um, uh, eatable for you. That's why I'm given this kind of program, nothing else. Ma and thank you. Thanks a thank lot you, for your uh, valuable feedback. Ma thank you, madam. And thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, is there anyone, any, anybody from the participant, those who want to share their views or, or anything? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, hello, sir. This is Mahesh from Telangana. Actually, I am a PhD scholar in JNT University. So, yes. especially, I would like to convey my gratitude and uh, special thanks to Dunka Engineering College and team. So, I enjoyed uh, throughout this session, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you Mahesh, sir. Thank you. Anybody from the participant, any more participant want to say something? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, this is Rajiv Kumar. I am assistant mm -hmm. professor in Government Engineering College, Jammu. Yes, Hello. Uh, sir, yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes, I have sir. all the session and uh, I, I learned so many things in your session, sir. And thank you so much. And I'm thinking if, if possible, if possible, then uh, why don't you conduct the again uh, such types of program if it is possible? Actually, I was not knowing about the program. One of the, my friend, he was the uh, professor in Dumka Engineering College, Bajesh Kumar. They told me about this program. 
so finally i have decided should i join this program and uh, i have listened many lectures and it was the wonderful so thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank, thank you sir. sir thank you thank you so we much. will we uh, will definitely uh, try to I, organize I, I totally agree with uh, professor rajiv uh, uh, in in this regard i totally agree with him yes sir we will definitely try to uh, organize more program uh, on uh, on uh, different uh, fields or different uh, things we will definitely try to organize we will definitely take thank your you. feedbacks uh, any thank more you. suggestions thank or you. any more feedback thank you rajiv sir thank you very much thank you. any more suggestions or any more feedback from any of the participants presented here because this is the last session of today we will this, this session will become will be end so if there anybody says something on this particular program then it will be helpful for us to take the feedback sir remember us in future program also hmm sir remember us in future program also of course yeah. of course madam of course of course no no problem at all of course in every program you all will be invited don't worry uh, I, if, if any program conducted from our engineering college we will definitely invite all of you no problem not no problem so i will request suditu sir also to take some initiative in a future to do some programs on this uh, if uh, if it is possible so any more participant any more one any more feedbacks if there and one more thing uh, the e certificates will be uh, will be generated within with maximum 7 days and it will be emailed to your respective email ids okay uh any more comment from any of the participant present here please share share your comments because it will help us to it will help us to uh, it will help us in our future programs so please if you have any comment if you have any suggestion please share it with us okay if anything is not there so we are wind up Pankaj sir, thank you. Yes, sir. So we can close up, close it up. Thank you, Sudeep sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks again. Thanks to all the participants again. Have a nice day. Safe. Stay safe. And stay in home. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.